Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Timmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And this morning I'm going to be talking about the new trailer that just dropped for uh, the Avengers Endgame. Uh, this is the second trailer. Uh, after watching the first trailer, it got me really excited. Uh, and it got me a little down too. Um, because as I said, in the after the first trailer dropped, uh, I have a feeling we're going to lose <clears throat> a few Avengers. Uh, most notably, I think we'll lose um, Captain America and Iron Man. But that remains to be seen as far as this trailer goes. Uh, whatever it takes. I love that saying. I love uh, that that's their motto. It's they're going to do whatever it takes. Um, and if you haven't seen the trailer yet, don't watch this review until you've seen the trailer. But uh, after watching it, um, it didn't really give us anything new except for the surprise um, little snippet pit after you see the Avengers logo in Endgame. Um, uh, little page there. And then after that, you get to see uh, Captain Marvel. Uh, but uh, it looks like the team that is left is going to go uh, and kick some ass. And uh, I'm really excited, uh, especially for Iron Man, or not Iron Man, um, Ant-Man, uh, because he gets to play a pivotal role in this movie. I don't think he gets the love that he deserves. Um, and I hope he gets to shine in this movie along with uh, a new character, all oh, the same person. Uh, Ronan, uh, I like for him to shine as well, and uh, I'm just interested to see uh, what they do to uh, save Tony, because uh, I, I know they're going to have to get to him. At least I think they will. Uh, and as far as some of the other characters, I think uh, if I'm correct with how the comic book goes, I believe Thor. Uh, I think ultimately we'll kill Thanos. I could be wrong. Uh, we'll just have to see. But uh, I'm excited to see this movie. Uh, we all know who's going to be in it. Uh, so there really wasn't no spoilers. But uh, but after hearing people talk about the trailer this morning, before I could even watch it, it was a little annoying. But um, I definitely think the first trailer was better than this one. Um, because it didn't have it didn't have that exciting factor, except I think for uh, the last ten seconds when we see uh, Captain Marvel. But overall, though, I'm I'm excited to see this movie. Of course, I won't be able to see it till fucking three four months after its release, unless by a miracle um, I either get transportation or something that I can rearrange so I can go see the damn movie. Although, I probably won't go opening night because it would just be too damn crowded. I let all the fanboys and all them, you know, geek out. And, uh, and then I'd probably go maybe during the week. But uh, this looks really exciting. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Um, it's going to be the end of the set of Avengers. Um, I can't wait to see what they do going forward with... A uh, new set of Avengers, most notably, most likely will be uh, Ant-Man, uh, the Falcon, Ronan, um, Black Widow, uh, the Wasp, I would assume, uh, Black Panther. Uh, but hopefully that gets us to uh, introduce some more characters, because I know there's a ton of Marvel's characters out there, and I'm looking forward to uh, seeing as well. But uh, as far as anything goes, I give this trailer um, a B. You know, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Um, I th definitely think the first one was a lot more exciting. But, uh, yeah, still can't wait to see the damn movie. And uh, so in the comment section below, if you've seen the trailer, give me your thoughts and opinions on it. And uh, are you excited to see the movie? And uh, who do you think is going to die in this movie? If any at all, 
you know just let me know in the comments as always if you're new to the channel don't forget to like and uh, subscribe hit the bell icon for all notifications if you like this review give it a thumbs up other than that i thank you guys for watching and you guys have a great uh day